Okay, here we are. Making some modifications to the remote fill that Kenny sells. Not that his didn't work just fine, but I want to try something different to make it less complicated for myself. I'm going to try and add a secondary inlet on the back side of this with a uh, nipple that I bought from Timmy. I, he didn't come with the little O-rings. I had to go out and get one of these uh, little plexiglass, not plexiglass, I'm sorry, a little, uh, not fiber, I don't even know what it is. Plastic O-ring, let's just call it. I think it'll be heat resistant. I got this clamped down pretty good here. Let's see if you can see when I zoom in. I don't know how close of a zoom. Plus, I'm getting some horrible light there. And that's even worse. That's still bad. There we go. There's the light we're looking for. Somewhat. Turn that thing off. There we go. I've got my flat edge there on the. Uh, opposite side of the other one down here, which I'll take off and I'll show you in a second. Got my flat edge there. I'm going to drill a hole in that now and see if I can uh, tap it with the proper threads for this. Tenny, if I'm wrong, well, I guess I'll be buying another one of these. So I've measured this to be a five, hold on a minute, five millimeter, five millimeter something or another. 5 millimeter times 0.8 thread on your, I should have just called and asked, I mean I should have just emailed and asked you, but instead I just decided that, by golly, I'll take it into the hardware store and test it. So I have a tap for that size. I need to drill it out first. And then I'm going to tap it. What I'm going to have is I'm going to have an exhale and an inlet, and then I know Tenny has two inlets for air on top of here. So believe it or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal his inlets for air. I'm going to have another one come out that's going to have a hose on it that's going to come up the side of the bottle. That'll put the air inlet above the actual alcohol. And in hopes, what that's going to do is it's going to allow the air to come in and the alcohol to go out without the overflow that I'm getting along this seam here. Uh, and I know it's it's made to be exactly level so that the when the alcohol comes back, it doesn't go out here. And it's very complicated to use. I've used it a few times. And this is a uh, version, maybe one or two of his um, reservoir, what a chicken feeder. So I'm going to try and modify this to where I think it will work better for me. I'm going to actually see if I can do this with the light on because that actually helps me see a little bit. And that's making the camera really hard to see on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back off since it doesn't help. I'm just going to try and drill a hole right now. Got to get the right size bit. Now uh, let's see here. Get my tap and die set and see what size bit I need for that. <coughs> uh, I'm going to borrow this. That's a pretty big... Uh I really should test this in something else before I test it in that. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to test this in a different piece of material. Then I'll come back and test it in the actual thing, just to make sure I have the right one. Be right back. Okay, I just got a little touch of a trap there. I'm going to go ahead and drill through this. This is not going to be the easiest thing I've ever done, because I'm trying to say square.
Okay. That's good. Not easy holding a straight. Uh, really need a drill press to make this work, I guess, properly. I didn't notice, but this actually has a drill on the tip of it here. I guess I could have drilled it out with that. Don't know. So here goes the next part. I don't know if I went all the way in or not, but I just need to go in partially for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and... It's hard to see down here a little bit. I don't know if you can even see where you're at there. Got some little bit of a stand here. When I zoom in, I don't get a great picture, so sorry about the picture. That's the best I can do right now with the lighting I have. Tested this on a scrap piece of material and it was the right size. This is without the washer on there. Got a good fit. I'm going to try it with the washer on there now. See if that washer is not too big. I'm a little nervous that I went just a little too far to the base and the washer is not going to fit. The washer does stick out a little bit. And this washer is a little thick, so I'm afraid I'm not going to get a lot of gription. The washer is a little on the thick side, and it's kind of hanging to the top. It is fitting, though. Now, the question is, is that washer letting me get enough of a grip, and is it holding tight? I'm trying to turn the light back on, just so I can see what I've got there. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and unclamp her. Let's just see what I've done here. Okay. So, let me get back on the camera frame here. I've taken what was just a chicken feeder and I've added another Obviously, my cut is nowhere near as pretty as Tenny's. My washer could have been a little smaller, I notice now. All right, well, I'll get to the next part in just a second here. Now I need to seal around this edge right here completely with a silicone sealant or some kind of sealant so that the, I don't know if you can see it from this picture, that's his air vent there, and there's an air vent right there. So I need to seal all that up because my air vent now is going to be a hose that comes up to the side of the bottle. Be back in a moment.